Hi there guys, my name's Dan from Brown and Guitar Academy and we're going to go through that little solo. Now, basically what we're looking at working on today is not crazy soloing technique, it's all about vibrato. Okay, now as an intermediate guitarist it can be your worst enemy and I know that and I've seen you know people painstakingly week after week trying to desperately get vibrato down. Now, it is one of those things that, that just has to be put into practice and, and it's trial and error to see what works but there are a few tips that I can give. Um, to help you out and this track is specifically designed to to allow you to really try out that vibrato okay so first of all the, the tips for vibrato really um, one when you see kind of guys rock stars go like this and that really wide epic vibrato we don't want to start there okay that's that's probably the first mistake most people make they, they, they immediately try to do quick wide vibrato and of course it takes a lot of control to do that and a lot of practice so the first thing okay is is start steady start slow so what I'm gonna do for an example is take this 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 B note here okay now always with me I like to have at least three fingers sometimes two and use the third finger to wrap around but three finger and thumb over the top for stability now that's just me the thumb over the top thing doesn't apply to everyone, okay? But I'm just going to show you how I do it. And the third finger is obviously playing the note, but the other two are on the same string, one fret each. So I'm playing, I'm kind of got my hand on three frets there. Of course, this is the only string that's going to ring out because it's the one in front. And that adds a bit of stability to my, to my vibrato, okay? Now, when I'm at that point then, and when you're there, let's just start rocking that wrist okay and it is a little bit in the wrist you don't want to start doing this if your fingertips start going a bit crazy like that that's not really where the vibrato is coming from it's coming much more from from the wrist area okay so from me kind of rocking and cradling the wrist like that okay it's very subtle just just basically start trying to do it real real slow we want a nice even sound Okay. So, first mistake guys make is trying to do it too quickly. So keep it slow and try and keep it in control there. Okay. Second thing is let's hear the note you're trying to play first, okay? So I cannot count the amount of times that someone's come in and, you know, this is the note, but before they've even played it, you know, they're doing the vibrato and they've gone right down or right up and basically lost the actual sound of the note. So, for me, first thing, play the note. Then start trying to give it some, okay? Um, if you hear, if your ear becomes tuned to, to the note that you're trying to play, you are slightly less likely to then, you know, you'll be able to hear when you then pull it a little bit out of tune, okay? Vibrato isn't really bending it. And, and what a lot of people do is, is immediately kind of bend the string. And that's okay, because it that is involved, definitely. But if you bend too far, you will essentially, you will change the note. So you have to be constantly referencing that note, okay? I'm always coming back to that note, okay? Notice how slow and steady that is, okay? Right, third thing, pressure, okay? so. I'm pushing down with all three fingers here. I've got my third finger on the edge of this fret towards this side, not, not this side, towards the, the bridge, the pickups of the guitar. And that gives me the cleanest sound without buzz. And then I am putting a fair bit of pressure. If I start losing the pressure, you know, I, I, I lose the sound, obviously. So the pressure's pretty much on there, but not so much that you... You can't move. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So you're not static. Okay, so there's a bit of a balance to be had there. And the last little tip I'm going to give you guys is bend bend down first. Okay, so when you do the vibrato, don't go and try and, and try and go upwards with your kind of rocking back and forth first. If you go upwards first, it kind of feels a little bit more like you're about to do a bend, and then you kind of just do do a bend. So coming down it seems to me, and from what I've seen from students, that you get a little bit more control out of it. Okay, so, some helpful tips there. Now, of course, this is kind of vibrato with your third finger. All those same rules apply with your first finger. Okay, and we'll kind of go through that now. 
okay? So we're now gonna look at the solo, and I'm just gonna break you through note by note. You've got pretty much a bar on every single note, which obviously the point being is that it allows you to, to take some time to try and get this vibrato in place, okay? Often if you're learning a quick solo, you don't even have time to get that vibrato in. You're so concerned with getting the notes right. Here, we're looking very much for the right sound because you'll get the notes quickly. So, bit of background. We are in B minor for this solo, okay? So, I've got B minor pentatonic shape one here. And I've got B minor pentatonic shape two next door. Okay, and they're the two scales that I'm using. Okay, so if you don't know those, go and find those. Um, the pentatonic shapes, if you sign up to the BGA mailing list, then I'll send you all the stuff about that if you don't know them already. Uh, but hopefully you should do. And we're gonna start up here. So this is the root note, this is B, where we were just doing all that, all that vibrato, and it's actually at the top of pentatonic shape two. Okay, so we start by just simply picking it with a downstroke and our vibrato. So notice I'm picking it, and then I'm doing the vibrato. I'm going down a little bit first. I've got all three fingers, my thumbs over the top. I'm rocking my wrist back and forth. Should be pretty stable, okay? Our second note, after a whole four beats, is gonna be my first finger. Okay, that's 10th fret again. Got a whole bar on that. Then back, but this time we're gonna hammer on to the B. Okay, so I'm hammering on from the 10th fret to the 12th fret on the B string. Slightly harder, okay, because now you've got to nail that hammer on and then add your vibrato from there. Okay, so a little bit harder. Okay, and then the next bit, on the fourth beat of that bar, I'll count you through this all in a second, guys. We play that one again, and then I'm going to slide that finger back down to the 7th fret, like this. Okay, I'll do it again. Now, that's going to take some accuracy, guys, okay? But this is all about accuracy and sound. So, firstly, what I'm going to do is I like bringing my first finger up and around. Now, I don't know why exactly. I see a lot of guys do it, and I think it just adds a lot of stability to that first finger. It's almost like I've, I've, I've kind of solidified those two fingers so that they're not going to go anywhere. They're not going to start flapping about, okay? So... Third finger is playing that, and then I slide it down to the seventh fret, and I try and then do the vibrato on top of that, okay? Okay, so what we've got so far is this. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hammer on. One, two, three, four. Slide. Two. Three, four. We're gonna repeat that again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Slide. Two, three, four. Then for the next bit, I'm gonna take that same note, but now move it to my first finger. So this is in pentatonic shape one. Right there. And I'm gonna play that first finger. Now for the vibrato. And after the, on the fourth beat, I'm going to play it again. And then drop down to this pentatonic note. So that's with my third finger, and I'm on the ninth fret of the G string. Give that some vibrato, you've got a whole bar. Then back to this, this note, seventh fret B string. Then little finger on the tenth fret B string. You should be able to see the pentatonic within this. Back to this note, ninth fret G string. Okay. Obviously, giving it vibrato. Then we're going to take my second finger and I'm going to slide from that ninth, ninth fret to the eleventh fret, which moves me into pentatonic shape two. First finger, and then hit that B note to start all over again. Okay? Okay, so let me take you through that second bit. So it's like this one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Four. Again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one. And that's your start, okay? 
So rhythmically, it shouldn't be too hard, okay? If you're struggling to count and play at the same time, I I'm not too surprised because that is quite a, a challenging thing to do. Um, so like a lot of blues guitarists, rock guitarists, you've got to use your ears, okay? So get, your, get the track on that I've sent you and and listen to it until you can kind of sing those parts and then approach approach it to try and get it you know together with the track uh, if you know what it should sound like then you'll know when it's getting when you're getting it wrong hopefully so that's it guys so go through that remember it's a test of vibrato so don't concern yourself too heavily about getting a, along to the track just 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 make sure that you are getting a, a half decent sound it won't come overnight it probably will take a good couple of weeks if not months to get right but at least you're on the right track so good luck with that and i'll see you next time